founded in 1996, Edelweiss is present in every financial life stage of a customer, helping them create, grow and protect their wealth via its business segments. As a diversified financial services company, Edelweiss straddles the sweet spot between the banks and largely monoline financial services companies that are focused on one or two asset classes and cater to narrowly defined customer segments. One of the best things that I have experienced is this entire Edelweiss journey. In the last 22 years, we obviously come a long way, the organization has got built out. But what has been fascinating is the kind of people we have attracted, the kind of people I get a chance to work with. And over the years, having seen so many people grow, so many people develop into great leaders, build businesses out there, engage with customers, and that has been the more fascinating part of the journey as we have built our assets and balance sheet and equity and as we have gone IPO and build market cap. I think all those have been more the output. I think the more input part has been the kind of people we have, the kind of culture we have created. Over the last uh, three, four years, what uh, gives me the most joy and the motivator for me to come to office is see how young talent is shaping up, how they are building their own success stories. And from a firm which at one point in time maybe had 10, 15 owners, today has hundreds and thousands of owners. And seeing that ownership transfer, you know, going to the last mile, going to people who are heading you know, fairly young in their life, they're heading large responsibilities and seeing them grapple with challenges and them coming out successful is what really motivates one to you know, come to office every day. The ethos of collective ownership and individual responsibility fosters a robust entrepreneurial culture, creating leaders who can add value and shape the organization year after year. Our primary goal is to enable our employees to perform at their best and discover themselves and their capabilities and reach their peak of excellence. We concentrate on identifying their each employee's strengths in an objective manner and being very meritocratic and thereby tailoring opportunities to meet their strengths. So culture is a word that you will hear very often in, in Edelweiss. The culture of ownership, the culture of partnership, the culture of meritocracy and all of this is an environment which we like to believe is as apolitical as it can get. But you know, a lot of this does not happen automatically. It only happens when you get the right people into the organization and you have the right leadership to, to guide those people. We have had significant investments in, to, uh, into leadership development uh, over the years. We have a multi-tiered leadership structure, starting from a managing committee uh, to senior leader group to leaders at business level and then we have a special program for the emerging leaders. I have somebody here with me who is from the first EL program who joined us as a management trainee from a, a business school in Bombay. In your own words, tell us how your journey has been in Edelweiss. The journey has nothing been short of amazing and entrepreneurial life which involved setting up two high quality trading and investment desks. These desks have achieved significant progress and are industry leaders in their own domain. What is even more heartening to note, doing this as part of a fastest growing financial services organization and doing with set of peers who have achieved similar success in their own area is nothing short of amazing. Herein, you get responsibility and accountability very early in your life. I think these two things which defines Edelweiss from my own personal context. We also constantly like to add leaders from the outside who come in at a lateral level because we do believe that heterogeneity and diversity of thinking is very important to our success. Radhika Gupta who actually came into Edelweiss through an acquisition that we made and she was co-head of a multi-strategy fund uh, which we acquired but within a short span of four years Radhika has now become the youngest CEO in the Edelweiss fold she is the CEO of our asset management business and who better than Radhika herself to tell us about it. So Rujan, I was just thinking about the time of the Forefront acquisition and you told me it's not an acquisition, it's a partnership. For me, what's really been special about Edelweiss is that Edelweiss has recognized my strengths 
but also recognize the areas of development and very systematically work to give me experiences and hone those areas of development. So in some sense, Edelweiss has seen my story and let me tell my own story my own way. And you said four years, I feel like I've been here forever. Built on a strong foundation of risk and compliance, the organization participates in being growth-oriented. We look at technology from multiple vectors. We, we wish to achieve, you know, fitting people's bandwidth and improving the cost and efficiency and managing cost better through technology. We also use technology for being ahead of our competition. We use technology for improving customer experience and obviously we use technology to manage risk better. At this point in time, in Edelweiss, we are using artificial intelligence, robotics, cloud, uh, facial recognition, virtual reality, the newer technologies to make our customers experience better and better as they, days go by. The employees are continuously a subject of leadership intervention through success stories and inspiration from the society that further create a spirit of commitment and bonding within the employees. At Edelcare, which is employee engagement program, we not only talk to them about their professional career, but also of their interests across various fields. We provide them opportunities to explore their non-professional interests. Under that, we have various things, whether it's running, cycling, photography. We have various clubs which are all run by employees. Edelweiss as an organization has given me a great platform uh, through Edelweiss Got Talent to display my uh, singing skills. Uh, I've always been passionate about singing, but I never got the opportunity to perform in front of such a huge crowd. Edelweiss allowed me to follow my passion as well. I do spray painting, charcoal painting, so I took part in Edelweiss Got Talent. I uh, showcased my hobby and it was uh, amazing to be a part of Edelweiss. So Edelgave, uh, we formed about 10 years ago in order to help make Edelweiss's philanthropy more strategic. So we set it up as a way of uh, identifying great non-profits in India in the areas of education and livelihoods and then not only funding them but also building their capacity. But a large program is around volunteering. So we have over 75% of our employees who are engaged with Adel Give either in the form of financial or non-financial giving. The volunteering also comes in very different forms. We have a field visit program. We conduct at least 30, 35 field visits every year for our employees and their families. We have a direct volunteering program where our employees prefer to mentor or to teach uh, in some of our non-profits. And then we have the skill-based volunteering program where our employees offer what they have expertise and talent in. It could be in developing strategy, financial planning, HR related work, systems and processes, things like that, helping NGOs, for example, become better at fundraising. So these are the more management organization oriented skills, which our employees go in and offer their services pro bono on their time. One important role that marketing has played um, historically at Edelweiss is to ensure the consistency and the belief in the culture across the organization. When we say be unlimited, it's not a campaign theme. Truly, there's belief that if Edelweiss is there, we will think through solutions that will multiply benefits, risk rewards. We will ensure there is higher rewards for lesser risk. To clients. These are the things that make you truly feel that there are no limitations when I work at Edelweiss. By 2017, Be Unlimited is not only a campaign externally, as shown via our SME campaign, Avir Fan Khan, where he talks about Be Unlimited and, and celebrates this amazing SME community, but it's actually believed by all our employees, our intermediaries that work with our employees. Edelweiss has always been known for the excellent products that it has been offering to its customers. However, as we now expand our retail footprint, 
relentless customer focus has become a new vector for success. Towards this, we have taken multiple steps. We were one of the first financial services company in India to adopt Net Promoter Score or NPS as a method to measure customer satisfaction. After three or four years of implementation, NPS has become religion for the retail businesses across Edelweiss. Along with these people, we have built an amazing culture. The key aspects of this culture is this culture of ownership, the culture of partnership, and the culture of leadership. I think these three parts of our culture are very, very strong.